Hi, I'm Jessica from playitforwardtherapy.net, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Bitmoji therapy room. Welcome to Miss Jessica's OT room. Before I show you how to create all of these different elements and put your Bitmoji therapy room together, let me give you a quick tour of some of the elements and activities that you might want to include in your virtual telehealth room. The first is a whiteboard or a place where you can write or type the schedule or the plan for the day. I have some room on the wall for posters where I've included some resources for social thinking and social skills. And then this is my activity shelf where I have some fine motor activities at the top. I have some games on my second shelf. And then on the bottom shelf, I have different movement activities. In the center of my room, I have the desk or the table where we're going to focus and that's when we're going to work on a craft project or maybe a fine motor activity. And then I also like to personalize it. So my dog came with me to work and so I have little Apollo in his dog bed just hanging out with us during our therapy session. So you can personalize it and customize it however you want. And then here I have another poster which is just a reminder of kids for whole body listening. And then on the corners here, I have my logo. So if you have a certain company or clinic or anything that you wanna put up here, you could put your logos up here to identify that this is the Stepping Stones Therapy Network Virtual Clinic, or this is the Play It Forward Therapy Clinic. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do each one of these elements. Let's start from the very beginning. The first thing is you're gonna open up Google Slides and you are gonna create a new slide deck. So when you go to Google, you're gonna see this waffle icon with the apps. You're gonna click on it and click on Slides. And then if I wanted to create a new slide deck, I would just click the plus sign and I could create a new slide deck. So I've already created one, so I'm gonna just head over to the one that I made. And the first thing we need is a background. So you can see here that I already created my own custom backgrounds, and these were dropped in as image files with extension .png. But I'm gonna show you how you can do it by searching online for backgrounds. So the first thing you do is you wanna click insert image, and you can search the web and I'm going to type wall with floor background free. So I have a couple different choices here. I'm gonna choose this one. I can either drag it in or I can click insert. Now I'm gonna have to resize this. So I'm gonna pull this out. I want it to fit the size of my slide here and if I don't want the tree in there I can crop it so this is crop and I can crop that tree out like that and then click away okay so now I just have the background I'm going to expand it a little bit next I want to find a desk and so I'm just going to google desk and when I find one that I like I'm gonna right click on it and click copy image. I'm gonna head back to my Google slide and hit control V to paste. So as you can see, I have a white background. So when I place my desk like this, that's not really gonna work. So what I need to do is I need to remove this white background. To remove the white background, you're gonna right click and you're going to find this icon, save to keep, click on save to keep. And then here you have it saved in your notes. I'm gonna right click, copy my image. I'm gonna click control V. So you can see this is the original with the white background. And then this is a transparent background. You can see by these checkerboard background. And I could download it if I wanna save it but I don't feel like I need to save it, so I'm just gonna copy this image, head back, and hit Control V. So you can see the difference between this has a white background and this doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this because we don't need that anymore. 
Now, I might be thinking, you know, I'm not sure if I really like this brick wall, but I do like the flooring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wall and I'm going to insert a shape. So you can go insert here or you can click this and I'm going to choose a rectangle and I'm going to create a new wall because I don't know if I really like that brick wall. So we're going to do this. See, we're just building some layers in and to change the color let's make it maybe purple so we'll make it purple for example and then i want to bring this forward so i'm just going to cut it and then i'm going to paste it and there it is i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and i like to find tables or furniture that are a little bit at an angle and that also have a flat surface so then when i'm building my my room i can put things on the desk so another thing that we might need is a bookshelf for all of our therapy supplies so i'm going to find a bookshelf and you can just go to google and let's look for a light colored bookshelf. I'm gonna click on this bookshelf. So I can actually go to the site and if I want different angles, you could, you could check this out and see if there's different positions, but I'm just gonna have it facing straight on. I'm gonna do copy image. I'm gonna head to my room and hit control V. Okay, so again, I still have the white background. So instead of going right to Google Slides, I could just do this. So let's try this again. I'm going to right click, copy image, and I'm going to go straight to remove background and hit control V and pop my bookshelf in. And there it is with the remove background. Right click, copy image, head back to my slide, hit control V, and there's my bookshelf. So as you can see, we have the big pieces of furniture in our therapy room. Some other things you might want to consider are putting in a whiteboard or a chalkboard. Perhaps you want a carpet or a rug. You could add a couch or chairs. Anything big you want to put in first in terms of your larger pieces of equipment. I'm going to show you my completed virtual therapy room. And I'm going to show you how to add these smaller items so kids can choose the activities they want. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's add some therapy putty. Now, beforehand, I went and I found images of all the different things that I wanted to add to my room. And I went ahead and I removed the backgrounds from the Remove Background website, and then I saved them to my computer, or I downloaded them to my computer. So I'm gonna go to Insert, Image, and Upload from Computer. So if you do all of this in advance, it can save you time, and that way you can just quickly insert activities into your Bitmoji therapy room. So there's the putty. I'm gonna move it over onto the shelf, and I'm gonna resize it. And I'm gonna put it right there. So now when I choose therapy putty, I want them to see a link going to one of my favorite therapy putty exercise videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a YouTube and I'm going to go to the Play It Forward Therapy YouTube channel and you see there's lots of different activity videos. You could just find your favorite go-to videos that you use on YouTube. But this particular one you're welcome to use as well. It's called Let's Play Restaurant. So I'm going to click on this video and I'm gonna click on share. And then when I hit share, there's a URL that's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna click copy. And then I'm gonna head back to my Google slide. And I'm going to click on the putty. I'm gonna click on insert link. And then I'm gonna right click here, hit paste, and then apply. So now when we choose the putty and click on it, it can take us to the putty exercises. And so see this video is about two minutes and 30 seconds and it's a really great way to get kids hands warmed up and they all really, really like this video. 
Okay, so we're gonna head back over and I'm gonna go ahead and close those cause I'm done. And what I wanna do next is I wanna click on the paper and I want it to take me to a Mad Lib. So my favorite one is National Geographic and it's their funny fill-ins. So again, you're gonna right click, copy, paste. Okay, so I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna head over to my slide here and then I'm gonna click on it insert link and it's already there but I'll do it again paste and apply so that's how you get websites embedded into your images another thing I like to do is I like to have a whiteboard where we plan out our therapy session and it helps keep us on track and organized for our virtual telehealth session so I'm just gonna click on insert text and I'm gonna draw my text box here and let's say it's for a particular child so I'm gonna say the child's name and then we're gonna write their schedule so what do you want to do first maybe we'll do a warm-up and that could be exercises or yoga then we'll do putty and then what do you want to do next we'll do writing we could do a craft so as you can see you can really type in whatever you want for the schedule and then the next time you have a kiddo you can just modify it and change it up so the last element that we need to add that we're missing is we need to add you so we need to add you as a cartoon character or your bitmoji avatar so this is a super fun thing to do and i'll show you how to do it now there's a couple of different ways you can create your own cartoon version of yourself or your Bitmoji avatar. And one of the ways is using Bitmoji for Chrome and you can use the free download for Windows. Now I had already created my Bitmoji using my iPhone. What I did is I downloaded the Bitmoji app on my phone and I created my character, my avatar. So once that's created, you want to add the Bitmoji Chrome extension. So you're gonna go to the Chrome Web Store and you're gonna look for the Bitmoji Chrome extension. Now I've already added it, but you would add right here and you would click on this and it would add it to your Chrome. And as an extension, you wanna look at this little puzzle piece up here and you can see that it's right here. So I want to be able to access this really easily. So I'm gonna click on this thumbtack and I'm gonna pin extension. And now you can see I have this little smiley icon right up here. Okay, so I can easily click on it and access it. So when I click on it, it's gonna pull up all of my Bitmoji avatars. So I'm gonna log in so now that I've pulled up Bitmoji, I signed in, I'm logged in, and then when I come up here, I click on the Bitmoji icon and it shows lots of different options. So I'm gonna find one where I'm sitting, and so I'm gonna type in sitting. So I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm gonna right click, copy image. I'm gonna pop it into my slide by clicking Control V. And there I am, I'm sitting on top of the desk. So if you add your Bitmoji character and they're not oriented the way you want them to be, you can just right click and I'm going to click on rotate, flip horizontally, and then I'm facing the other direction. So that's just a quick tip that you can use. So by the time you're done adding all of your elements to customize your Bitmoji therapy room, you'll have something that looks like this. And I have a surprise for you. I have some background templates to share with you to help you get started. So on the right hand side are three examples of templates to help you build out your therapy room. The first step is to visit playitforwardtherapy.net slash bitmoji dash room. You're going to enter your name and your email address, and then I'll send you an email with the background images that you can upload to either Google Slides or PowerPoint. And have fun setting up your virtual therapy room, and I wish you the very best of luck with your telehealth and all the fun that you're going to have working virtually with your kids. Enjoy your telehealth sessions, and don't forget to visit playitforwardtherapy.net slash bitmoji-room to get your free background templates.